Thanks, G-Man. Yes, we are behind our ladies, and it's been so exciting to see them on the court in action. And with the Netball World Cup in full swing, there are some, you know, some of that high intensity on the court with many teams playing four days in a row. The workload has been tough on their bodies with little time to really slow down. That's why recovery between games is so important, and it is one of the basic principles of training as well as post-match routines. And yes, we are all guilty of skipping on that warm down, if I can call it that. Now, here to take us through some of the best recovery exercises is Western Cape Tornado's goal defense, Yukai Chamba. It's so great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Oh, you know, I think we all are guilty of the games done. We get off court, the workouts done, we leave the gym. We don't take time to actually do a little bit of recovery, which is so important. Yeah, most definitely. I think. You know, recovery, you don't realize that it's the most essential part um, in sport. And as soon as you're off the court, you actually have to do your stretches. That's the most important thing before you rush home or rush back to the hotel like the players are doing at the World Cup and straight getting straight into eating food. Mm. You've got to actually do the stretch first. You have to so do the stretch. we're going to do a couple of simple stretches. Okay. Right? So we're going to start with the standing and we're going to stretch our quads. You're just going to balance on one leg if you can. Have a focus spot. This is something that's so simple that you can do at home. Okay, and then you do that for a couple of section. You really want to get a pull here exactly, in your exactly. quad. And then we're going to go into the other leg, do the same thing. Balance is also key here. You just need to keep your core tight, keep your glutes tight and hold on to your foot. Keep it all engaged. Of just because course. you're stretching doesn't mean the engagement's not there. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Now what we're going to do is something that I'm also a coach, so what we tell the kids is you've got to shoe the chicken. So this is to get into oh. the half strings, get into the the calves as well. You can just feel that stretch I love, in there. I love the shoe, so the chicken. you shooing the chickens. You can do the static, but you can also do this walking up and down <laughs> um, the court or at home, anywhere, really. Oh, you're bringing back memories. When I was training for the marathon, our coach called this chase the chicken. Oh, there we go. So we shoe the chickens, we chase the chickens, <laughs> all the same, all the same, all Poor the same. chickens. Yeah. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is keep your stance wide, and then you're just going to go from side to side, open up the groins there, because um, on the netball court, you've been moving your hips, you've been moving your legs, you've been changing direction. So it's important to do this just to get into those muscles that you wouldn't ordinarily think yes. you've got to stretch. And I have been fascinated with the speed at which the ladies have been operating. It is fascinating. How stunning. You really oh. underestimate the athleticism of netball players. And then after that, we're gonna go into a couple of arm stretches. So just pull your arm across. And then you're gonna look in the other direction. So you're really getting that stretch in your back shoulder. Mm. And do that for a couple of seconds. Then you go change to the other side. I know we're doing a netball recovery session here, but I almost feel like this is also something you should do at the end of the day before you jump into bed, just like a little bit of a life recovery. <laughs> life recovery, 100%, 100%. I do stretches before you go to bed. <laughs> and then we're gonna take your arm behind your head. Just push it down, get more into that shoulder. Oh, this one's always, I find the one arm's more flexible than the other. Most definitely. <laughs> then we're gonna change. Now we're gonna get onto the mat. We're gonna do a bit of yoga. Some people would consider it yoga poses, but it's also definitely necessary for a netball player to And it's part of recovery. We, we tap into all the different mediums if we have to. Exactly, exactly. So we're just gonna get onto the mat. Then just stretch the back a bit. Oh. You can feel a click, that's great. Oh, it's always <laughs> good to stretch the back. And then you're gonna do a downward dog. Really cool. Then you're gonna stretch out your calves a bit. Go up and down with the ankle. Really feel that stretch in your calf. Then you can continue to go up and down if you like. But we're gonna move on. What you wanna do is bring your knee in between your arms. Feel that stretch in your glutes. Oh, there we go. Got it? Yes. There we go. Huh. <laughs> must the, where must the heel be? Um, in between. In between, okay. There we go. There we go. Sure. There we go. And then your shoulders up. And then just alternate. Bring your other leg through. There we go. There we go, you got it quite comfortably. There we go. You're more flexible than me. Ah. The, <laughs> the balance is not great, but the flexibility is oh, there. Awesome, 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 awesome. Then we're gonna go on all fours. 
Then what you want is you want your shoulders to be um, above your arms. And then you want to lift your back up and then down. Some people call this a cat and a cow. So a cat would be this way. Yeah. And the cow would be the other way. <laughs> and cow. Yes, and you just do that a couple of times as well. Just until you really feel stretched. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put your right arm through underneath your left arm, just to feel the shoulder again. Ooh, and we're getting a good stretch this way. Oh, awesome. I was actually yeah. reminded the other day, because you know, yoga and all of these stretches that sometimes like takes you upside down and all of that is good for you. A friend yeah. reminded me the other day that children instinctively that know what's good for them and that's yeah. why they're always tumbling and turning and upside down and playing that way because being in this position is good for you. Of course. And I think as adults we forget that. Yeah, we do, we do, don't we? We do, yeah. yeah. And then up you get, those are just a couple of stretches that are easy to do at home, very accessible and so essential to do after a netball game. Oh. You really underestimate how important that is at other depth. than the nutrition and, and the sleep as well. Sleep is also a really good recovery. You need to make sure you get your eight to 10 hours of sleep. She said it, naps are here. Naps are so naps important. Naps are important. Yukai, thank you so much for joining us today Absolutely. and for showing us how important recovery is. We hope that you were able to take a couple of these movements with you and, of course, learn something new today.